Hello BC team, it is 6.40 and we have 24 hours to make this day count. Today I will try to make a challenge. I will try to do as many things as I can in 24 hours. Many of you tell me in the comments that you can't do many things during your day and in general you lose all your time during procrastination. More than often I conclude to the realization again and again that when you have to do only one thing during your day, you do it really badly. At the same time, when you have 5, 6, 10 things to do in only one day, you do them all and you do them good enough. So let's start with the first one, which is running and more specifically exercise. So right now is 9.23 and I already worked with image processing and more specifically I prepare for a test after Easter break and after that I continue with some documentaries in string theory which is the project that I need to present after Easter break. Finally I watched with my sister a really cool TED talk about extra dimensions which is really interesting in general and at the same time it helped me understand string theory. So right now we'll continue with some programming stuff and then I have two little errands to run. More specifically I need to go somewhere that will DIY my green screen and second I will go to the library university in order to do a project with a friend from university. <music> I need to be at the university at 30 minutes, so I have some time to go and leave my green screen. For the counter, I solved more of the exercises in image processing and started my course in machine learning, but more about that in the car. So the idea behind this DIY green screen is to have a green screen behind me when I work but at the same time I don't want this screen all the time there. I want something that sometimes is there, sometimes it is not, depending on my work. If I want to record, if I want to create the course and all that stuff. So this is something like a windows curtain that can be rolled up and rolled down depending on my work and upon this curtain I will place the green screen. This is my rough idea and I didn't watch that on YouTube, so I'm not sure if this will work properly. Right now I'm in the process of placing all the little pieces of the puzzle together. I'm trying to build a whole course in machine learning and I want it to be the best possible quality. For that reason, one or two months ago I refreshed my memory for machine learning. At the same time I ordered the green screen and right now I'm in the process of actually building the course. I want to create something really professional that can help you guys to understand machine learning. But not just to understand the algorithms, but to understand the philosophy of machine learning and how to build and use these tools on yourselves. This is really important for me because for the first second that I started this channel, so many members of the PPC team asked me to create a course in machine learning and a general video about artificial intelligence. So I really want to create a high quality course that can make machine learning accessible for everyone. I left my car in a space without shade, so the heat of my car is unbearable right now. I just finished with the project and everything was great. Me and my project partner had a really good plan, at least for me. It was 
I had to do the whole program in C++ and my friend need to do the report and this is really good for me because programming in C++ is really fun and the report is really boring. It's 3 o'clock and I need to eat lunch but during the project I ate a bunch of crap so right now I don't want to eat anything. I think that this is good for my work because after lunch most of the time I feel sleepy and I don't want to work. However right now I'm filled with energy and I think that I can start working in my machine learning course right now. Okay right now is about 7 o'clock so let's see what we did so far. When I came back home I had to do a power nap which transformed to one or one and a half hours of sleep which I guess that it's bad however I really needed some quality sleep. After that I start working in the machine learning course course and I will separate this part of my work into different sections. This is the first time that I actually start working with a machine learning course. So I had many technical difficulties. The first one is that I need data sets for the different programs that we need to build. I want to have real data sets from real problems in order for the course to be more interesting and more practical. So I spent about one or one and a half hours on finding these data sets and how to use them. And I'm still not finished but I found some good stuff. The second part was even more technical. More specifically, I said in a previous vlog that I want to work in a Jupyter Notebook. This means that I want to create an environment for you guys in order to start working there. I want to have parts in LaTeX that explain how exactly to work with machine learning and what you want to do in this code and then the part of the code that you need to work with. So I lost one or two more hours in order to understand how to write LaTeX in this part of the Jupyter Notebook and how I can make this to look really clean. Completely relevant but right now we are in my sister's rooms which is our lab as you can see here and I can show you real fast the progress that my sister has in her project. So this is an Arduino project she worked in a classical Arduino with the LCD screen and she tries to create a Morse code that shows you the result in this LCD. And right now she's in the process of transforming the whole project into the Arduino Nano, which had various problems. For example, you can see here that this Arduino Nano didn't work, but she soldered these two little guys here. I don't know if you can see them. And right now the Arduino Nano works. The next step is to use this guy right here in order to solder this project just for fun. Change of plans, right now I need to go and get my father from the airport. I wasn't sure that I will go to the airport until the last minute. So I wanted to do one more thing, which is my presentation. As you already know from my previous vlog, I finished the layout of my presentation. So I created the PowerPoint and the script. And now is the most important part. I need to learn and practice how exactly I will present it. And at the same time, I need to learn word by word my presentation. I have a really strange philosophy when it comes to PowerPoint and presentations. First of all, I want to have a script. But at the same time, I don't want to have the script with me. This means that I need to learn the presentation really good. But at the same time, I don't want to learn the presentation too good. It is really important to present from your heart and understand every single word. It is not good practice to learn your presentation like a poem because this doesn't seem really good to the audience and they can't relate with you and your presentation. With that being said, I need to know really good the presentation and the script and at the same time I need to be fluent and say the presentation by heart. As you can understand, this is really difficult and time consuming because you need to practice your presentation, not just learn the script. I think that I don't remember exactly how to go to the airport, so I need a GPS. So right now we are out of schedule, it is 12 o'clock and I wanted to sleep at 11 o'clock. My father came today and we leave again tomorrow, so we spend some time all together. In order to recover, I will sleep right now and wake up at 6 o'clock. I think that I will not go for a run, but I'm not sure about that. And I will start working immediately in machine learning and most importantly, the presentation. I did nothing for my presentation today and yesterday so I need to work really hard on that. I will make my test presentation after Easter break. So I have about 10 or 
12 days. I think that I have some good tips about doing many things at one day, but more about that tomorrow. Hello BC team, right now is 9 o'clock and until now I successfully succeeded a project in image processing and most important of all I work in the course in machine learning. As you already know I'm in the first process of the course so I need to create the structure. Today I succeeded to create the first generation of functions and more specifically I created the loss function and the easy one which is the sigmoid function. Overall I think that this was successful 24 hours and I managed to not only do many things but I spent quality time in each one of them which is really important. So don't forget to join the BBC team by by clicking the subscribe button and I will see you in three days. And as always, keep going guys!